Are you confused, stressed, and overwhelmed about your acceptance to UCT? Whether do you need an A plus in maths or physics? Whether you should be doing maths or physics in the first place? What marks should your MPT be to be accepted into the program? What does it mean when your application status says I'm conditional accepted? How do you even apply? What are the classes like? What is the registration fee? Ah, oh, so many questions. Well. I hope you have a pen and a paper and let's go. So hi guys, my name is Abungile Nguya and welcome back to my channel. I am a computer science and a business computing student at UCT. I'm a first year and I'm sharing my experience with that. I hope you guys enjoy my previous videos and I also hope you enjoy this one. So I realized that in the comment sections, the question that I questions that I get are about content that I already covered in my previous videos. So there are two things. It's either number one, you haven't watched my videos and you don't know what's going on or you have watched my videos but my videos were not explaining the content in too much detail. So that's what I'm going to do in this video since I believe that you have watched my, um, you have watched my videos. I'm going to say maybe I did not um, explain things in in much detail so that's what I'm gonna do in this video I'm gonna explain the process on how to apply and how do you get into computer science in UCT what are the requirements what are the application um, NPT everything and anything I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget most importantly with this video don't forget to share it to your friends and their friends share it to their friends because there might be someone out there who needs this information yeah without a further ado let's get into it since this video is gonna be too long i've decided to actually divide the video into two parts so we're gonna have part one which is what i'm recording right now and then part two which is what i'll release next week so i hope you guys um find this very useful and yeah man let's get into it welcome to part one so in part one we'll also divide it into two we'll have high school dilemma and registration dilemma so under high school dilemma we'll be discussing things like your subject choices your marks your grade 11 and your grade 12 marks your NPT results, um, how to actually apply for computer science and which faculty you should actually apply to, how to choose the faculty that you want to go in, into. Yeah, and then registration dilemma, we'll be talking about registration fees, orientation leaders, the books that you need and accommodation. I hope you guys, um, have a pen and a paper because this honey is going to be a lengthy video just so that i explain this in so much detail that no questions will be asked after yeah without any 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 further ado let's get into this video so in order to do computer science in the science faculty at uct a learner or a person should have completed the following subjects in high school so you should have done mathematics, specifically pure maths. You need to have um, English, either first additional language or home language, really it does not matter. And you also need to have done physical sciences. But note, please, um, where Elena has not done physical science, this subject can be replaced by subjects like your life science, your CAT or your IT. So you don't need to do physical science, but it must be replaced by these three subjects. This is according to the UCT handbook, which you can find it just a simple Google search. Just say UCT handbook 2023 or 2022. Yeah, and then you'll find the requirements, the subject requirements that are needed in order to do computer science in the science faculty. But remember, 
Computer science is not only found in the science faculty, it is also found in the commerce faculty. So now, how, what subjects do you need there? So, in my high school, commerce was, was had subjects like economics, business studies, accounting, and mathematics. But with mathematics, you can choose in pure maths or um, mathematics literacy. Like I told you, you need pure maths. You need pure maths. Okay. So you need to do these subjects like economics, business studies, and also accounting in order to be accepted in the commerce faculty. So um, the marks that I'm actually going to um, mention are minimum requirements, which means you need to get these marks or something above. Now, I suggest that you get something above because UCT is a very competitive um, university and yeah, man, minimum requirements are just not, meeting the minimum requirements are just not going to cut it. So you need to get marks that are above. So with, mathemat with mathematics, you need to obtain a um, 70%. According to the UCT handbook, you need to have 70%. Um, with English, first additional or home language, you need to have 60%. And with the other subjects that, like I told you, economics, business studies, um, life science, care to IT, they also need to be 60%, right? So mathematics, 70%, physical science, 70%, and um, the other subjects like economics, business studies, um, life science, CAT or IT, they also need to be 60%. Like I mentioned, these are minimum requirements. You can go above or you can just meet them. But meeting the requirements and also getting above the, the requirements doesn't really guarantee you um, um, an acceptance to CS, right? Because sometimes it's just the external factors, you know, luck. You know, sometimes, yeah, it does not guarantee you that you get, but you need to have these minimum requirements in order to just apply. You can't apply when you don't meet the minimum requirements. Yeah. Yeah, just just so we know. So according to the UCT handbook for 2022, it says that the NVT results are not taken into account for the admission to the science faculty. But however, I asked around, <laughs> sorry, I asked around, um, and then they said that even though they say that, um, when for example there are limited spaces for applicants they are going to turn back to the NPT and say who is, who should be admitted and who should not. So do take them seriously, but I just wanted to say that, yeah, they do not count for, they do not, um, are, are not taken into account for um, admission to the science faculty, but you do need to take them seriously because things change and you will never know with those universities, yeah. Now you have done the subjects that are required, right? You have met the minimum mark requirements. You have written for your NPT or you've applied to write for the NPT. Mm, how? Let's apply then. Let us apply then. Now with application, it is a simple Google search. Just search UCT online application for that year. So let's say for example, you're gonna say UCT application. UCT online application for 2023 and then voila the first thing that appears I'm sure is the Oracle PeopleSoft thingy then you open click there and you just follow the simple the simple instructions like creating your account follow I need to like you got 60% in English so you should be able to read that yeah follow those instructions and you have applied so another question is, how long do I actually wait for a response? Well, the response when it comes to applying is immediate. I think just right while you're applying, they'll tell you that they received your application and you need to continue to apply. And then after that, they will tell you how long you have to wait to be conditionally accepted. I think mine took months. Yeah, I think it took two months in order to for them to actually say, you know, girl, congratulations, you have been conditionally accepted to Bachelor of Science in um, Computer Science. So yeah, yeah man, um, yeah, that's how I I applied. So I applied using the online application, obviously, um, and then 
I follow those instructions, created a user account, blah, blah. And then, and you can check your application in the portal. Just always enter your password and username, and then you check your application and the application, excuse me, and application data. Yeah, I remember things like that. Yeah, I hope you um, know how to apply, please. Yeah. So now moving on to the next phase, which is registration dilemma. So now with the registration dilemma, I'm going to be discussing registration fees, orientation leaders, choosing your courses, and also accommodation. Right. So let's get into the first thing, which is a registration fee. Now, I'm going to talk about my experience. Registration was zero rands. I did not have to pay any registration fee to um, to be accepted into UCT. However, they do require you to actually pay a certain amount before April, after April of your school fees. Otherwise, they will charge you interest on your fees. Yeah, so... Um, no money is required to register at UCT, but before April, they require you to pay an amount, a certain portion of your fees, or they will charge you interest in your fees. So, yeah, there's always a trick. There's always a trick. There's always a trick that you need. Yeah, well. So, let's say you have applied to study computer science and physical science just like me i know you guys heard the story a lot of times yeah 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 i won't get over it i know i'm not gonna get over it yeah so let's say you applied computer science and physics <clears throat> and for physics you can change to other majors as long as you accept it to the physics to the science faculty i'm sure obviously it depends on the amount of space in those majors but um, I realized that you can actually, because I changed from physics to business computing. So you can, you can play around with it. Yeah. So you don't have to stick into one. But obviously there are, um, there are majors that have many people inside of them. Like you, I saw that biology, genetics, um, chemistry, they have a lot of applicants there. So it might be hard for you to actually um, change to those majors. But you can change um, majors once you accept in that faculty. I'm not sure if you can change faculties, but you can change majors. Now, there will be obviously orientation leaders that are going to like assist you with applying and everything, how to move around the portals. And they're also going to be lessons that are going to be conducted in order to help us help you to like um, navigate your way around online learning and, you know, how to do things on your computer, the software that you need to do, you need to use. Um, they're also going to give you one drive for UCT. Um, there's UCT, what's this, cloud, something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then now, when it comes to choosing electives, I have a whole segment in the how to get into computer science video that I did on how do you actually choose electives. So yeah, just go and watch that and yeah. I think I've covered everything when it comes to um, choosing your courses. Now, when it comes to accommodation, um, you apply for accommodation while you're still applying to get into UCT. Yes, they're going to give you an option of do you want to raise or you're going to stay in a private um, accommodation. So you do say, um, I want to raise, but let's say you were not accepted to um a, anyways so what do i do do i not come no you can come but obviously you need to come with a plan for plan b just in case you know but they will try by all means here yeah, because i saw many people with, without race they were like i'm calling different races if they had spaces they they wait for you to actually get space yeah they try by all means to put you into race but do you have a backup plan plan b just so in case just so in case that they don't um find ways for you yeah i mean that's it when it comes to um, application dilemmas and high school dilemmas or registration dilemma um 
I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I have covered what subjects you need to do. You don't need to do physics, but you need to do those three subjects or those subjects that I've mentioned as an alternative um, subject. Um, there is no money required for to register. Um, accommodation, they will try to fight for you. You do need 70% in mathematics everything yeah just re-watch this video make sure that you take notes um and please do share this video so that um you know you can reach the masses <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in part two bye